All right, let's do some arrow tests. I haven't done archery in quite a while, well over a year, and I still can't do it too well because of my shoulder injury. I definitely notice it when drawing the bow. The uh, shoulder separation has made it a lot harder to pull at this kind of angle, and it usually starts to hurt. By the way, that's the rifle range nearby, if you hear those bangs. So, yeah, this is a 45-pound Scythian bow made by Grozer in Hungary and I've just got regular field tips on here got ballistic gel set up there and uh, I'm just gonna See how far it penetrates Yeah Don't expect good form right now <laughs> Or accuracy for that matter There. Better. Well, that was too easy, so I had to cut the ballistic gel in half and double it up. Because otherwise, if it goes all the way through, we can't see the penetration depth as well. So, next shot. I'm trying not to screw this up. There we go. Here it is. You can see how far it went. So almost through both blocks. Let's see. Laugh all you like. I know that I suck at archery. There is a reason why I have a crossbow. There we go. Alright, so this one you should be able to see as well there it is so pretty similar result i mean it is a similar kind of point the few point on this one is a little differently shaped there we go one more So you can see where it is. The gel isn't quite as clear as it used to be, but you can still see it right there. All right then, this is going to be a lot easier for sure. First try, hit, dead center. And this is one of the main things about crossbows that I really like, aside from the fact that it saves my shoulder. There it is. It's kind of hard to see. So here, um, how deep did it go? Huh. Oddly enough, it didn't seem to have penetrated as far as the arrow, which I think is probably because the bolt is that much thicker and the ballistic gel has a lot of friction. Oh yeah, I can tell. The point itself is also thicker, so pretty sure that's why. Now with the hunting point. The high friction of the ballistic gel really messes with this. 
The hunting point usually is very good at cutting through soft tissue, of course, but it's also quite wide compared to the other points, so... I mean, it does a lot more damage, as you can see. Right there, it just doesn't penetrate quite as far. Interesting. Ballistic drill is really good only for... <laughs> well, ballistic test. Who would have known? So it actually severed it almost entirely at the top there. Yeah, so I would not want to be hit with any crossbow or anything really. But if I had to, for some reason, I'd rather be hit with a field point than with this. Now just for fun, here is a blunt bolt. These would have been used for bird hunting back in the day. And of course, it's not going to do anything to the gel, but it should look interesting in the slow-mo footage. So let's go to go. <laughs> right back at me. That was pretty funny. This thing flies so slow when it comes back and rotates that you can see it pretty much in advance and go, yeah, it's not going to hit me. That center, and let's see how far it went. So yeah, it's easy to overestimate the velocity on these. You know, despite the high draw weight of the crossbow, the velocity isn't that high compared to modern crossbows because the draw is that short so the bolt doesn't have that much time to accelerate if you want high performance then you need a really heavy crossbow like a thousand pounds and more spanned with a windlass so now I've got a padded jacket set up I say padded jacket rather than gambeson because I don't think it's a historically accurate replica it's one of those modern interpretations it's sturdier than the one I tested before. Man, that's loud. But, um, you know, I, I've got double layers because I put it in front. So it is decently thick and feels sturdy and everything. So we'll see if it does anything. That was too high. It's a little tricky to aim because I don't see exactly where the gel is. I think it's about here. Huh, interesting. It hit right here it did hardly anything did not expect that huh all right so maybe with this many layers it does something after all either that or maybe it's just too much give because the well, although it's not too bad actually it's not super squishy so this is a job for the hunting point, because this should be a lot better at cutting through the fabric. Yeah, there we go. So it didn't go that deep, fortunately. I say fortunately 
because that means I can actually get it out easily. There is a, a tiny bit of the point sticking out right here. It did tear through it, but it really didn't get anywhere near as far as I thought it would. What, did I hit the same hole twice? Really? Now back to the bow. Let's see what it does. Nothing. Although that was too low, wasn't it? Too low. Yeah. Since I'm not sure if that hit in the right spot or too low, let's do it again. That was definitely in the right spot. It looks like it hit here, as far as I can tell. It didn't even really puncture the outermost layer, which is interesting. So that really did nothing. Seem to hit the same spot over and over again. Oh, well, good grouping, I guess. Yeah, that was good. By the way, if the cocking looks easy, that's just because of the mechanical advantage of the goat's foot. This is indeed 300 pounds, even if it doesn't look like it. That was pretty good, but didn't do anything. Well, that was interesting. But once again, not a whole lot of penetration. Oh, never mind. It actually missed the gel after all. Thought it hit it, but... So... If, it, if this is free hanging, this stops pretty much everything. If there's something behind, not so much. And it's pretty sturdy fabric. That's no fun. Wait, why did I leave the bow there? <laughs> because derp, that's why. Oh, I love that sound.